Many of us remember Brian Vickers for his stint in the NASCAR Cup Series and health issues that plagued the later half of his career. It's widely assumed that he was forced into retirement early because of issues with blood clots that were constantly interfering with his ability to compete. But taking a closer look, that isn't really the case. So it begs the question, what actually happened to Brian Vickers? As I began to research this video, the truth turned out to be far more bizarre than I originally thought. Brian Vickers was born in Thomasville, North Carolina, and started racing go-karts in 1994 after a family friend suggested that he had talent. He ended up winning 80 plus races over the span of three years. It was clear the kid had a knack for driving. He moved up to start racing three-quarter scale stock cars in the Allison Legacy Series and later ran late models in the NASCAR Weekly Racing Series. He became the youngest feature winner at Hickory Motor Speedway. By 2004, Vickers was racing in the NASCAR Cup Series full-time with Hendrick Motorsports. He scored a single win with the team in 2006 before moving to Team Red Bull in 2007. He helped Team Red Bull get on their feet in the Cup Series and scored the team their first win in 2009 at Michigan International Speedway. However, in 2010, Brian's season was cut short due to serious health concerns involving blood clots. He returned to Team Red Bull in 2011, but the team was struggling and shut down at the end of the season. Unsure of his health, Vickers turned down a full-time ride at BK Racing to go race at Michael Waltrip Racing part-time. Because he was part-time, in February 2012, he missed the Daytona 500, putting him in exactly the right place and time to meet Sarah Kensington. They began dating and the two were seen at the racetrack often, notably in victory lane at New Hampshire Motor Speedway where Vickers scored his final career win. Later in 2013, Vickers and Sarah Kensington got married. At the time, nothing seemed off about it. Most people saw the news, were generally happy for Brian, and moved on. However, a closer look would reveal that Sarah Kensington's real name was actually Sarah Kellen, and Sarah Kellen was named in a 2007 lawsuit as a co-conspirator to none other than Jeffrey Epstein. Sarah Kellen appears in 350 of the Epstein flight logs, including 11 flights with former US President Bill Clinton. Sarah Kellen was in deep with Epstein. Just in case you aren't familiar with the situation surrounding Jeffrey Epstein, let me quickly get you up to speed. The financial tycoon had built an empire around trafficking underage girls. He was incredibly charismatic and incredibly manipulative. He regularly used his victims for his own pleasure, but also loaned them out to powerful people, oftentimes to gain leverage over them in order to manipulate them at will. The man was flat out evil, but the operation was far too big for him to handle alone. Glean Maxwell was Epstein's ex-girlfriend, but main partner in crime. Maxwell formed a small crew to assist in recruiting and organizing logistics for the scheme. Allegedly, next in the chain of command, just below Maxwell, was the future wife of Brian Vickers, Sarah Kellen, often referred to as Maxwell's lieutenant. In their cases against Epstein, many victims brought up Sarah Kellen as the person that kept track of them. She allegedly kept very intricate records of their names and phone numbers, things like where they lived and their daily schedules. Spencer T. Coven, a West Palm Beach lawyer representing several of the victims, was quoted as saying, she saw herself as the boss. Sarah was really running that organization bringing girls in and out of the Palm Beach home. One of the victims, Sarah Ransom, said Kellen even showed her how to please Epstein. In 2007, the feds finally caught up with Jeffrey after lengthy investigations. But unfortunately, Jeffrey got off easy. Jeffrey served just 13 months in prison with extensive work release, and all of his co-conspirators, including Sarah Kellen, walked free due to a very sketchy and much criticized plea deal. At the turn of the decade, Sarah changed her hair color, took up a career in interior design, and most importantly, started going by the name Sarah Kensington. It was during this time she began to date and later marry Brian Vickers. 
The timing of their meeting leaves us with more questions. Did Vickers know about Sarah's past? Does he think she's a victim or a predator? How do you even have that conversation? On the surface, it appears that Sarah moved on from her former life. However, under closer examination, it looks that ties with Epstein were never completely severed. They were pictured together in 2012, and Kellen's interior design firm takes deliveries at a New York condo owned by Epstein's brother, 301 East 66th Street, an address that Epstein had used to house models for many years. It's also believed that Sarah is one of the people that Epstein wired $250,000 to before his final arrest in 2018. Epstein died in 2019 from a widely disputed suicide. Currently, Brian and Sarah live in New York. They own an interior design business, and Brian owns and runs a company that makes breast implants. Yeah, I thought that was weird too. They've both gone dark mostly on social media, and apparently they're lousy neighbors with really suspicious, never-ending renovations being done to their condo. Galeen Maxwell was arrested in July 2020, and many people, including Sarah's parents, suspect that Sarah Kellen might be the next person in line to face prosecution. Her best defense is to do everything she can to frame herself as one of Jeffrey's victims, making the whole case even more polarizing. But you still have to ask, at what point does the victim become a participant in the abuse? Did she have a choice? Was she subject to blackmail? We may never really know the truth. So why am I making this video? I didn't set out to make a hit piece on Brian Vickers. You see, every once in a while, a snippet of negative press comes out about Sarah. Brian gets roped in and people start asking, who's Brian Vickers married to? I wanted to answer that question. However, I feel like I was left with more questions than answers. The more research I did for this video, the more interesting information I stumbled upon. How could Brian Vickers marry someone accused of doing so many dark acts? What does Brian Vickers know? And who even is Brian Vickers? At the end of the day, the only person who may be able to answer some of these questions is Brian Vickers himself. Many people say his career ended due to blood clots. While I think they played a large role, the main reason Brian has stepped away was Sarah. <laughs>